Now let's talk about finding slope from an equation. The easiest way to find slope of a line from an equation is to rewrite the equation in either slope-intercept or point-slope form. That's because slope-intercept form has the slope directly in it. y equals mx plus b. So if we look at what our coefficient of x is, that's going to be our slope, granted that the line is written in slope-intercept form. Point-slope form also makes the slope easy to identify. Right, we have y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Again, we have our slope if we can express the line in point-slope form. Generally, it's easier to rewrite a line in slope-intercept form. Sometimes you might be able to rewrite it in point-slope form, but usually we'll be writing the line in slope-intercept form, and then you can identify what the slope is that way. Let's look at some examples here. Find the slope of each line. Part A, we should recognize this as already being in slope-intercept form. And we can see our slope right here is going to be 0.25. So our slope, we could say, is 0.25 or 1 over 4. Now let's look at B. B is in point-slope form. Right, so this would be y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. I know we see a plus here, but we can rewrite x plus 1 as x minus minus 1. So we can rewrite that as subtraction. So you see something written like this, it's point-slope form. And this tells us that our slope is equal to 3. Now let's look at part C. We can't easily identify what our slope is. A common mistake some people might make is because we have nice examples like A and B, you might think, okay, well, our slope is 10. But we can't know that until we rewrite it in one of these two forms. So we're either going to have to rewrite it in slope-intercept form or point-slope form. I'm going to opt to rewrite it in slope-intercept form because it's a little bit easier to do that. So in order to do that, we want to isolate y and solve for it algebraically. So first we'll subtract 10x from both sides. Divide both sides by 5 y is equal to 15 over 5 minus 10x over 5. y is equal to 3 minus 2x, which we can rewrite as y is equal to negative 2x plus 3. Now that we have it written in slope-intercept form, we can easily see that our slope is equal to negative 2. So our slope was not 10. So remember, you can only figure out the slope directly from looking at the equation of the line if it's either in slope-intercept or if it's in point-slope. Now let's look at some more examples, find the slope of each line. What I would suggest doing here, pause the video, try to work through these two examples on your own, then hit play to see if you got the answers right. So the first thing that we need to do here is rewrite these lines in slope-intercept form so we can identify the slopes from these lines. And in order to do that, we need to move everything else away from the y terms. So we're going to start by subtracting 6x on both sides. Negative 3y equals negative 30 minus 6x. Divide both sides by negative 3 y is equal to negative 30 over negative 3 minus 6x divided by negative 3. y ends up being equal to positive 10 plus 2x, or y equals 2x plus 10, and here our slope is equal to 2. Now let's take a look at b. The same technique over here, we want to move everything away from y so we can solve for y explicitly. So we'll start by subtracting 7x from both sides. Divide both sides by 5. y is equal to negative 10 over 5 minus 7x over 5. y is equal to negative 2 minus 7 over 5x or y is equal to negative 7 over 5x minus 2, and this tells us our slope is equal to negative 7 over 5. 